Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with the support you need to finish your book. Best part is, after you finish your book, they take care of the entire publishing and marketing process 100% for you. So, if you want to become a successful author, make sure to check out AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Niraj Mendez with us. He is a professional keynote speaker, author, and coach who helps people unlock their true potential using a seven-step balancing process. He is a contributing author on the Better Business book and has been featured in the recently released Being Unapologetic book. He is also in the process of writing a book titled Balancing Your Wheels, which will cover self-leadership strategies for synchronizing your mind and body for success. So welcome to the show, man. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. Uh, Very glad to be here. We're glad to have you here. and We're excited as well. Um, let's dive right in, man. The first one I got for you is what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Sure, sure. So I think, you know, fear is what holds a lot of us back from achieving our highest dreams and aspirations. See, I grew up uh, back in Sri Lanka and there was a whole civil war there. And so there was a lot of fear and anxiety that I had as you know, growing up as a kid. And what I didn't realize till quite recently is that that trauma that happened gets frozen in the physical body. And if you don't defrost that trauma, you're essentially adding more into that, uh, that trauma. And so that's when disease sets in, right? So fear can be mapped to a lot of many diseases, back problems, nervousness, breathing issues, inflammation, addiction, which was huge for me. And when I gave up, my addiction to drinking and smoking and living a fast-paced life, which also can be an addiction. Uh, The fear just started melting away, and it was amazing. And we all can do this. It's all about bringing awareness and transforming the seven major energy centers within our body. Once you unlock these energy portals, then anything you desire and need is definitely achievable. Mm. And it's all right with you, and and, and maybe you'll... uh... Uh, answer it in the next question, but I'd love to dive yeah. into what those seven uh, energy centers are. Um, so I'll ask you the next one. But the, the next one is, is what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Yeah, yeah. So I truly believe health is wealth, right? So what we focus on and what is what we manifest. So if you are primarily focusing on unhealthy practices, knowingly or unknowingly, then you are bound to fall sick, right? So similarly, if you focus on your health and living a wellness life, then you're more able to accomplish what you what your desires and needs. So ultimately, we're complex beings. We have millions of internal and external processes uh, that are taking place every millisecond. And Diving a little bit into the seven energy centers, these centers are actually in our spine, right? And so starting from the root of your spine to your belly area, to your heart, to your throat, uh, to kind of like the point between your eyebrows and then, you know, on your uh, above your head. And so once you're able to activate these energy centers within inside of you, just energy just starts flowing naturally. You don't really need the caffeine or the addictions or, you know, the people that really feel like you always need to have it inside of you to have this energy. It's an infinite amount of energy that you have with inside of your body. So the most valuable piece of information that I can share with your listeners is, is to really be in awareness to what you put into your body. Because ultimately, in order for you to get get wealth, financial wealth, emotional health, spiritual wealth, you really need to focus on your health first. And then you will get whatever you need and whatever you want in your life. And uh, what is your best piece of overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. Sure, sure. You know, I think uh, your word is the most important thing. 
regardless of its business or not, and I think this is also important in the business area, if you promise your client or your colleague or your business partner you're going to deliver something, then you should move mountains to get it done, right? However small it is or large it is, the deliverable, you have to get it done based on what you said. Now, if you can't get it done, renegotiate, right? Be upfront, communicate. But if you give your word, it's so important to follow through. In doing this, it creates three signals to the other person, that you value that person's time, you respect them, and you're looking to build a relationship based on trust. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? So I think not worrying about what others think and what their expectations of you. Following your passion, which is almost most likely that's going to be your strength. If you understand what your passion is, that is your strength. That is what you're here to do. That is your purpose. And this will ultimately lead to success. Because when you're working in your passion, then it doesn't really feel like a job, right? There's no burnout that's there. So for my younger self is to really follow my passion, follow my heart, follow my gut intuition. What am I here to do? What is my purpose in this life? And um, in your opinion, what is the key to happiness? So what I realized um, over a decade ago is that you know, I had all the external signs of happiness. But what I realize is that external materialistic things and people can't really make you happy. You have to dig deep with inside of you and love yourself first. Once you master the art of self-love, then happiness is just natural. It's a byproduct. So happiness doesn't necessarily... You know, it doesn't constantly need to be replenished because it's always there. It's just you're accessing it, right? And it's it's never depleted. It's not a depleting resource. Happiness is unlimited. But you have to know how to tap into it, and it all starts with self-love. And what is the best book you've read, and what was the number one thing you learned from that? So... When I started on the journey of uh, personal development, one of the first books that really hit me was a book titled Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life by Dr. Wayne Dyer. He um, summarizes how we shouldn't try too hard. Just allow life to happen. Then everything becomes effortless. You don't become attached to the outcome. Everything just starts unfolding in time. And everything you require will be provided for. So now what I do is I try to live a life that is a little bit more spontaneous and not rigid. And of course, having timelines and all that stuff is good. But at the same time, don't get attached to it. And I'm also constantly trying to be in a state of gratitude, which allows the flow to happen. And this book really triggered me to understand these principles at a very, very core level. And what is your favorite quote and why? So my favorite quote would be, the deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. The deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measures. Let me read that again. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. This quote by uh, Denzel Mandela shows that we're not destined to live our average life and just follow others. We're all here to unlock our true potential. And once you do that, the sky is the limit and you can achieve whatever you want. Mm. I love it, man. Thank you so much for coming on. The last one I have for you before we let you go is where's the best place for our listeners to find and or connect with you online? Sure. Uh, People can go, or your listeners can go on to my website, nirajmendis.com. It's spelled N-I-R-A-J-M-E-N-D-I-S.com. I I would be thrilled to offer any of your listeners a no-obligation, complimentary 30- to 60-minute coaching session with me over the phone. We can discuss your life, your business, health, wellness, whatever you want. 
And just go out of the website. You can book uh, book my time on there. Again, the website is N-I-R-A-J-M-E-N-D-I-S.com. And thank you so much for providing me this opportunity. Ellen. Of course, man. Thanks again for jumping on. Yeah. The podcast you just heard was published with Anchor. Got something you want to say to the creator of this show? Send them a voice message using the Anchor app, free for iOS and Android.